one it means that you will learn the functionality of sales module inside dynamics 365 and this video will explain what exactly you will learn inside this course so let's begin that and i'm really excited to have you here so the first thing you will learn is you will learn the module which is create a customer organizational structure right so in this first you will learn manage customer records it means you will learn how to manage your customers inside dynamics 365 what are the different types of customers available and also how to structure the organization right so you may have combination of customers like uh, parent child customer or just contact so we'll talk about the customer based organization structure and you will also learn how you can identify the potential sales opportunities by utilizing the core record so you will also learn about the different type of records available in dynamics 365 so that you know how to proceed further right so that's something you will learn the next thing you will learn is how to manage the sales process so you will learn the entire process of how you can create and maintain the sales transactional records you will learn how to track the sales progression manage the sales process just from lead generation right just from the beginning to the quote order invoice right so entire process i'm going to show you in this particular section right so once you complete the sales process the next step is how to manage customer communication right so you will learn how to manage and create social engagement sources identify that um, what are the different opportunities and generate leads via social communication right so we'll talk about a little bit about the social engagement here and we'll talk about the different sources and we'll go into detail of that once you complete this the next step would be to manage sales literature and competitors right so in this you will learn how to create and manage the sales literature repository i'll also talk about what exactly the sales literature are and how it is used plus you will also learn how to identify and track competitors right so inside dynamic 365 you have option to track competitors and uh, you can do multiple options you can see that okay if you have won the deal then you know you will see that against which competitor you have won and in case if you lose that particular deal then you will be able to analyze and strengthen your organization based on the loss right so you will know that what are the strengths of the competitor what are the weaknesses and how to strategize your sales right so that's the module number one it's gonna be a big module let's move to the next one once you complete that the next one would be how to manage leads and opportunities so in this is the first thing you will learn how to manage leads right so you will see that what are the different process you can collect leads and uh, will tag them through the conversion process also you will learn how to qualify a lead how to disqualify a lead how to reactivate and in case if you want to delete the lead which is not the recommended solution but i'll still show you how can you delete the disqualified leads right so we'll learn about the managed leads here the next thing you will learn is identify and manage opportunities right so in this you will be able to identify the opportunities to track throughout the sales workflow also you will learn how to create opportunities with different statuses and uh, how to create records within the opportunity form and also how to assign the opportunities to the designated sales staff right you may have multiple people working on the opportunity we'll look into that in detail and then you will learn how to utilize opportunity functionality so you will be able to learn how to close and document opportunities as won or lost right in case if it's won then what is the parameters that we'll look into if it's lost then we'll look at the different reasons of loss and also we'll document that and also you will learn how to quickly create the records to add new information to the opportunity form Plus, you will also learn to connect the opportunities with the other record types so that you know the relationship between the records and the different record types. And finally, you will learn how to apply connections to a data structure, right? And finally, in this section, you will learn how to manage opportunity relationship. So in this, you will learn how to analyze the sales opportunities through the resolution activities and uh, utilize multiple opportunity views that are available that helps you analyze different opportunities based on the status and different filter types right so that is you will learn in manage leads and opportunities once you complete that the next one would be manage relationship and sales analysis in this the first one is manage relationship intelligence so we'll talk about the relationship management inside dynamics 365 and you will learn how can you use uh, relationship insights how to configure relationship insights to integrate with exchange right and also you will learn how to create and prioritize 
action and tasks, track interactions, and also manage sales communication inside Dynamics 365. Once you complete this, the next one is manage relationship analysis, right? So in this, you will learn how to provision and configure relationship intelligence, how to create the actionable and productive cards. So in Dynamics 365, you have something called cards, which is useful to derive intelligence from within Dynamics 365, and you can utilize that to improve the productivity of the resources. And also we'll look at the relationship assistant. Once you complete this, the next one is how to integrate email with Dynamics 365 sales, right? So we'll learn how to track interaction with the specific email. You will learn to manage sales relationship through statistical analysis of email activity, how to track and untrack emails and performance activities. Plus you will also learn how to manage sales relationship with email engagement and how to use email engagement analytics and auto capture feature. After that, you will learn how to manage sales by using sales analysis tools. So we'll look at the different options available like the advanced find, how to use editable grids and built-in reports. And also you will learn how to export data to Excel in both the static and dynamic processes. Plus you will also learn the difference between the Excel export and Excel templates export. Right, so that will cover in this module. After that, we'll look at how to manage the sales process. As I told, it's a functional aspect of Dynamics 365, so you will learn everything in detail. So a uh, first thing you will learn is how to manage business process flow, right? So how to manage tasks required for each state of a business process flow, right? What are the fields you need for each stage to be completed, right? You will learn how to create territories and assign them to the managers and sales staff. Plus, you will also learn how to configure currency and exchange rates. Next, you will learn manage products by using product catalog. You know, in Dynamics 365, you need to have products so that you can start using them to sell services or products to your customers, right? So you will learn how to manage the price list, discount list, and unit group. We'll talk about each one in detail. And also how to, can you create the products? How can you maintain the products? How can you clone the products in case if you don't want to do it from scratch? And uh, what are the different stages or status available for the product and the life cycle, right? After that, we'll look at the price structure. So you will learn how to create price list, how to create discount list models and assign currencies to products. After that, the next one would be manage product relationships. Right, so you learn what are the different product relationships available and uh, how can you differentiate product relationship by family units, right? You will learn also customize the properties for all the products which are type of family and how can you identify and create bundles for the related products, right? This can help increase the sales for the company in case if you use bundles. And the final topic you will learn is manage sales transaction records. So in this, you will create the price and uh, revenue structure with inclusion of the line items. We'll talk about the currency rates, exchange rates, and how can you use write in products, right? In case if you don't want to create a product in Dynamics 365 for the basic things like freight, taxes, right? Those things you can add as a write in product, right? So you will learn that. And also you will learn how to manage the code lifecycle, create and manage codes, orders, and invoices. So we'll talk about these in sales transaction records, right? After that, the next step would be to learn how to improve sales performance. The first thing is how to manage goals. It means you learn how to create measurable and manageable goals, right? And you will learn how to use goals for by fiscal year, specify definitions and goal metric records, how to analyze individual and organization progress by creating goal hierarchies. And finally, you will learn how to use rollup queries. Once you complete this, the next step would be how to manage visual tools with Dynamics 365, right? So we learn how to create documents and templates, how to integrate charts and dashboards within the same module, right? So that is improved sales performance. And the final topic we'll be covering is manage customer information. So first you will learn how to operate Dynamics 365 sales functions. You learn to identify and define the functional areas of Dynamics 365, right? In the sales module and uh, model relationship and records in Dynamics 365, how to access Dynamics 365 through various clients methods and how to utilize the help center. Then next you will learn how to perform data management. So we'll see how to create customers and contacts within Dynamics 365 
you will learn how to enforce customer relationship by using activity types and also use views and global searches. And finally, the last topic, you will learn how to perform lifecycle management, right? So how to utilize leads, how to convert leads into customers with, with the lead, lead lifecycle and how to perform opportunity management and manage cases, right? So this is what is there. I know it's a huge module and a huge a course so i want you to go through everything step by step and it is structured in a way so that you can prepare for the certification and pass the certification also right so after that once you have gone through the entire training i want you to go through the exam preparation notes which is available after each module and also once you complete this training the next step would be for you to take the practice tests and these practice tests you can take and you can become confident and you can appear for the exam and finally we'll do a review right so that's it thank you so much for watching this video and i'm really excited to teach you this dynamics 365 for sales and help you prepare for mb2717 certification see you in the next video